Flyers and welcome back to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Era. Now today we're going to be doing a different type of a project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, comment below, and don't forget to tap that notification bell and YouTube will notify you of any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. You will need some round wood planks, some mud podge, and some laser jet photos. Let's get started. Hello DIYers, I'm Crafty Lady Ida. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer a photograph onto a piece of wood. It's so simple. Now, I've already done three, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to get the photograph of your choice. You're going to print it out on a laser jet printer. Not an inkjet printer, a laser jet printer. And that's only because the color won't rub off. Because if you get a laser, I mean, if you get a, an inkjet cleaner, printer, uh, more likely the color will rub off. But if you get the one with the laser, then it won't. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the picture of your choice. I chose this one. You're going to get this with a pencil and you're going to I've already done it, but I'm just going to show you. You're going to do it all the way around the shape of this. And I showed you in the description box below where you can buy these. These are very simple. You can come buy these almost anywhere. These ones I got at Walmart. It came forward to a pack. Now, when you go ahead and uh, draw the circle, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. The shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it to be too small. Okay. Now. I'm going to get this. And we're going to end up putting this face down. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's not sticking out too much on this. See this right here? Okay, because what I'm going to do, you just want to shape it and make sure that it's not sticking out anywhere really too much. You're going to get Mod Podge, okay, just Mod Podge with no water, and you're just going to put it on your you're going to put a generous amount, but not too much on the outside because when you put the picture down, it's going to ooze out on the sides. Um, I thought I'd mention that once you put the Mudge Podge and the photo down, go ahead and put it aside and let it sit for 24 hours before you put it in water to take off the top layer, okay? Okay, friends, here is, um, it's already been dry, it's already dry today, so now this is where we're going to see how it comes out. You're going to dip it in water, gently kind of, gently rub away the top part of the paper, okay? Don't rub too hard, gently rub it and it'll start, the paper will start coming off. See how it's coming off?
just on the ones that I've already done. Okay, and then once they dry, we'll come back and take a look at them, okay? Okay, here's a finished product. I've already uh, put much podge on them. This one right here, it came out okay. It just came out a little bit too scratch, but all in all, this is my first time doing this. I thought they came out really nice. Really, really nice. They probably could have come out a little bit better. This one came out nice. You know what? I'm going to attempt to try this again and, and uh, with different pictures and other family members and just see how it comes out. But yeah, this one, like I said, could have been better. I think maybe I rubbed it too much, but all in all, it came out pretty good. So remember, first of all, thank I want to thank all my brand new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. I'm glad you like what I do. I hope you like what I do, because if you do, continue to comment below. Um, I really would appreciate hearing your comments. Uh, if there's anything you want me to do or try, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, please comment. And like and subscribe and share the videos with your family and your friends. Um, and, you know, that sharing and, and subscribing will help my YouTube channel grow. And I can continue, uh, you know, giving you some more awesome videos. So, uh, yeah. And again, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate it. I really appreciate your all's uh you know subscribing to my channel and as my channel grows I'm going to be doing more awesome awesome things um, I'm going to be getting some uh, Christmas DIYs coming up so those are going to be a lot of cool stuff I'm going to be doing for Christmas and uh, yeah so again thank you very much and remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to tap the notification bell. And YouTube will notify you when I have more videos coming up. Okay? So, remember, keep on crafting. Bye!